Enabling Virtualization in Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM Development Preview, featuring a virtualized Red Hat Ceph storage cluster by John Masters, Chief ARM Architect at Red Hat. An introduction to Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM Development Preview. Red Hat produces development preview builds of Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM, which are made available through our ecosystem partners. Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM targets all server-based system architecture SBSA compliant industry standard 64-bit ARM servers. Builds are provided in the form of a single standard operating system image, both ISO and network installable, featuring common binaries shared by all supported platforms. There is one common kernel, just like other architectures. Our goal is to always provide a consistent end user experience. What you can do on ARM servers running RELSA is both familiar and consistent with your established experience from using RHEL on other architectures. A proof of concept demonstration of Red Hat Enterprise Linux virtualization technology running on 64-bit ARM architecture. The virtual platform used in the following demonstration is defined by Red Hat in collaboration with the ARM Linux community. The platform is standards-based with virtual machines booting and running identically under virtualization to that on bare metal, using technologies familiar to system administrators such as UEFI and ACPI-based boot architecture. The same exact binaries from Red Hat Enterprise Linux server for ARM run identically both on bare metal and under virtualization, following our approach of using a single binary image that targets common industry standards. Red Hat's virtualization technologies support ARM v8.x GES, including the virtual host extension optimization added to the ARM architecture to enhance hypervisors such as KVM. The virtualization solution provided in Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM is built upon LibVirt, Red Hat's standard hypervisor management tool that provides a consistent, abstracted view of virtualization that is uniform across many different computer architectures. As always, our goal is to provide a consistent end-user experience, no matter what the user's choice of architecture, when running Red Hat Enterprise Linux. A video demonstration showcasing the installation of Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM Virtual Machine GES under Red Hat's KVM hypervisor, running on a physical 64-bit ARM server also powered by Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM. This demonstration uses a developer laptop environment running engineering builds of Red Hat's Vert Manager GUI tool to connect to a remote physical 64-bit ARM server running Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM. After connecting to the remote server running Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server for ARM, we can see there are already three virtual machines, RELSA 7, Ceph 1 through RELSA 7, Ceph 3 running. These form a Ceph cluster that provides storage for the rest of our environment, including our new virtual machine. Creating a new virtual machine is an entirely graphical process. In this case, we will choose to perform a Pixie network installation using Red Hat's Kickstart technology. All other options will remain as default, including the 64-bit ARM architecture, known as ARCH64. The operating system type selected is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Our test virtual machine will be configured with 2 GB of RAM and two virtual CPUs. We will configure the storage for our virtual machine to use a network-based file system hosted on the VM disk's volume. This allows for live migration of the virtual machine to be performed later, as demonstrated in another video. We set the name of the virtual machine to RELSA 7 Test 2 and select to configure the virtual machine prior to installation. This option is solely to provide you with a glimpse of the machine configuration. It is not necessary to change any of the default settings. The virtual machine boots using AAVMF, also known as UEFI, firmware for virtual machines, similarly to contemporary virtual machines on other architectures. It is possible to configure any aspects of the virtual machine that need to be customized, such as the hardware installed, the network MAC address, and so on. Proceeding with the installation, the virtual machine is created and begins to boot over the network using industry standard UEFI Pixie support. As the machine boots, it fetches the installation software over the network, including the Red Hat Kickstart configuration file, exactly in the same way that Red Hat Enterprise Linux is installed on other architectures. 
The installation is entirely automated, although it is possible to perform interactively on the console using a graphical interface provided via VNC or even using the built-in BMC available on more recent ARM servers, exactly in the same way that existing architectures using RHEL are installed today. Packages are installed and configured following the Red Hat Kickstart configuration file descriptions of the desired system installation. In this case, a minimal server install using all of the standard Red Hat technologies, such as LVM storage volumes, SE Linux, and kernel crash dump support for diagnostics. After installation, the virtual machine reboots, and we can see that it reports running Red Hat Enterprise Linux server for ARM. To find out more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux server for ARM development preview, visit redhat.com slash ARM or contact your ARM server hardware provider. Thank you.